It's half past five in the morning. On the morning of uh, 9th of July. To I don't know whether this trip is going to pay off. I'm approaching the whole scenario with a completely open mind in relation to Diane and what she can achieve. But it's worth it. And it's worth it for one reason, that if she can actually locate Robert and find him, then that's, regardless of whatever people think about psychics, then it's worth it. So I'm here at home now. I'm just waiting for the taxi. It's half past five in the morning. And uh, hopefully this time tomorrow with a found Captain Robert Nyrak. I'm seeing Rob and Robert, and I'm seeing him, to be honest, with you, being dragged out. But he was literally like on his all fours. They were literally pulling him, dragging him up. You could see his top being lifted up, and I could see him being dragged. Had it by the hair, actually, as well. You know, but it was somebody he knew that had dropped him in it said why he's there and what he's doing and he classed him as a bit of a friend and that's a sad thing because he keeps saying that he felt something was going to go down and it was an exceptionally busy night in the pub that night like it normally is but it was almost like he had a feeling this guy wasn't fully trustworthy anyway um, that's what I'm seeing so far so far it was a van, a car, and a van. That's what I'm seeing. And actually, that somebody was saying to get him in the van. And they ended up getting him in the car, but it was, it was another guy by the van. Because it was like, which one are we gonna put him in? He didn't think he was going to his death. But he knew he was gonna be questioned. And I gotta say, I feel awful saying this, and I mean that. But when I was seeing him by the bar, he was a bit cocky with it. He was a bit, you know, very full on and quite sure of himself. And, you know, he didn't think any was good, anything was going to happen there and then. And it sounds really bad, but he would put on a bit of a strong a a accent. Like when I just said um, a few words then, it was like he added the R strip. He's quite, quite a posh guy, actually, really posh. says a car really quite strong um, and he's because I actually looked at his photograph just now and it's all I kept saying yeah I'll, get, I'll help you out but it's really posh and his persona is quite posh you know like the way he walked he, he had a, a real strong arrogance actually but a posh way of putting it never thought he'd ever get caught out in anything he did ever and to be honest here, he was making plans to go to other places so he was always making plans ahead. He was becoming a little bit obsessed with what he was doing. And that's where I felt the cockiness would come. Pulling his hair, you know, dragged him out. And to be honest, he was actually sweating. His hair was wet at the back, soaking wet. Really, really wet. There was five men to start with. And then there was another two that turned up. So they weren't... There wasn't a... There was two, an extra two guys that turned up. There was five men to start with, though. Five the men guy here. behind the bar, yeah. Five men here. Yeah, but the guy behind the bar, he was involved in it as well. And there was another two blokes which was watching him, actually. They wanted him anyway. They knew, they knew it wasn't just all come from this place. They knew previous. And I'm going to say what I just seen there. Um, this didn't seem like concrete. This was like stones, little stones, lots of little stones. Gravel. Gravel. Yeah. I'm seeing a lot of gravel. It wasn't the concrete there. And I can I can hear the beats shooting off. Um, but they were looking his head actually. I holding his hand, his head. In his one of the guys had him with the hair was smashing his head, literally smashing it. Oh, on a ground, stony ground. Didn't know where he was going. They did put something on his head. Put something over his head. Definitely put something over his head. Didn't care the guys that had him. Didn't care. 
they, they knew what they were going to do to him. He'd laugh in their face, actually. He was laughing in one guy's face. And this guy, had, uh, he was quite, not tall, but a long face, strong nose, dark hair going back. Quite a nice looking guy, actually. Who was laughing? Robert? Um, one of the guys that was there. Laughing. He was laughing at Robert. Laughing, yeah. laughing, laughing out loud. Yeah. They knew, they did. They could get away with this, you know. Really strong personalities. They're all strong personalities anyway. But this one guy, um, you're going to tell us, you're going to tell us, you're going to tell us. This sounds bad, you know, but I'm going to say what they were talking about, cut his fingers off. They said, don't say too much now, wait until I go to the next place. So I need to go. There's another place from here. I need to go somewhere else. Who's not sure? I'm not sure, is he? Not sure. Was it somebody Terry there as well? Terry? Terry. Is that guy called Terry involved? No, no. But no one knows who the whole gang were. Oh, but certain okay. names are known of people that participated, mm. but not everyone. But if you say one of the names that um, okay. that are familiar, that I'm familiar with, then yeah. A lot of them were drinking with him as well. A lot of them were actually drinking in that pub that was with him that night. Mm. Were actually drinking around him. He was going, he would smell the drink because they were drinking at the time. Because at the beginning of the night, he was really having a good time. And I mean, a really good time. But this guy that he knew, he thought he could trust him. He always carried a gun. But he carried a different gun to what he normally carries that night. So I don't know. It's just what I am. like a, a blue car. It was a dark car. That's all I could see. It was a dark car. Just didn't know. He was literally just checked in. Didn't have time to think. Going here. Every time I'm going off, I keep going here. But it's almost like I'm going down as well. In that direction, over there. Right. I need to go to that. I need to go to the bridge. The bridge? Yeah. Okay, we can go there. Yeah. Do you want to go there now? Yeah. Okay. Right, so was... Having been in the pub, I've got to be honest, I've, I've seen Robert sitting there um, with all the guys drinking. And he was actually drinking. He wasn't, okay, so he wasn't drinking. He was drinking a lot of alcohol. Um, talking to everybody as if everybody is his best friend. And to be honest with you, it was, I felt there was a nice atmosphere there that night. So it wasn't, I didn't feel bad about it. And because he was somebody that would just approach anybody and just talk to anybody. And that's what I kept seeing. But the guy behind the bar, bar was involved in all this. And also the guy, it was a few guys actually. There's a, an area where they could sit on the left and an area on the right, but he spent most of his time on the left, and you could see them all sort of parted for him to be taken out. It's like it was awful, really, because it was almost like we're gonna get him now, and they all knew about it before he knew. So it was quite depressing to see that side of things. He was actually talking to the guys about holidays and things. Everyday talk. It wasn't just, it was like everyday talk. It wasn't, 
That's it, I can't see anything else in there. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. He was stabbed. Yeah, he had punch wounds. I don't realise this side, it was over here. I can just see a little, little tiny, it was only that size, a small little knife. I can see him holding his side, yeah. And they swear in a lot actually, can you hear them saying who you've been talking to? He thought he had information and that's all I keep hearing is him um, questioning him to be honest with you over and over and over and over again and me and him literally oh he didn't have a chance there was guys holding him with the hands and they were just beating him and I mean badly beating him up he definitely had cats in here I can see them Didn't have any clothes on his top off that I can see. I can actually see the bruises all over him. Oh, terrible. They actually let go of him at one point and he was trying to get away. He was going to look at him and they were really teasing. No. It was brutal. And I mean brutal. So they actually, he did get away? tried to get away and he did actually try to run off right um twice twice but it's as if it was like see what he's gonna do he wasn't gonna get very far sort of thing okay they kept that's all i can see oh my god it's awful to say i'm gonna be sick in a minute because his head he, the blood was just oozing off his head, blue. They were knocking his head, literally knocking his head all the time. Um, awful. There's one bloke there, a bit emotional, was standing back. He was stepping back and he, he, he could see that he was like, there was one guy there that was almost sort of stepping back and not really getting too involved in it and he could see he, was, he kept looking up at him as if to say you're going to help me can you just help me do you get do you get a name with that first name I'll try i come after yeah he kept saying and i've got to be honest you're not going to get a fucking word out of me you're not going to get a word out of me word out of me he told them yeah yeah you're not going to get a fucking word and he keeps Repeating it. Mm. Is there somebody called Terry there? Did I just say this earlier? You said Terry earlier. You'll need to, I'll need to make a phone call on that. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, the, there is a name a surname that's similar to Terry. Okay. But, uh, yeah. Terence, is it? Uh, I just see a Terry anyway. I'll just keep yeah, talking. Yeah, yeah, keep going, because the, there's definitely a link with the T. Okay, well, I'll sure. just keep seeing what I see. Um, it's basically being tortured, to describe it, being literally tortured. So he was going to, to be honest, break and tell him 
Mm. But he's actually saying I didn't have enough information for him anyway. There was nothing, nothing I could have given them that would have stopped them beating him up, to be honest mm. with you. Because it was not the sort of information. He was there to find out information. That's the impression I got. Right. He was there to find information out. And he didn't have enough information to give them on anything anyway. Mm. But things he had known previously about IRA, he wouldn't have given it. There's just no doubt about that. He was on his knees. He was literally on his knees. And I could see him on his knees. He was actually begging for him to kill him. He was actually begging. Was this guy dressed as a priest? What's that, a guy? Is it dressed as a priest? Really? And I gotta tell you, right? He, I can hear him saying, "I know what you're doing. I know what you're doing to me. I know what you're doing." He, he knew what they were doing to him, the way that they were trying to get the information out of him, and, and then almost sort of teasing him, almost teasing him. And I can hear him saying, "Can kill me. Can kill me then. He's going to be going to kill you. Kill me then. You know, do it. You know, do it." Who's dressed as a priest? I could just get a thin guy, actually, quite a thin guy, yeah. gauntly looking thin guy. And I can see him, and he's going, you know, and he's going, What are you going to do to me? I know what you're going to do to me. There was another guy, um, and he was sort of, he was pacing back and forth, he was, like the, like in charge, basically, mm. going back and forth. And he's going, I'm going to shoot him now, I'm going to shoot him now, I'm going to shoot him now, I'm going to shoot him now. They weren't, the intentions weren't to keep him alive. They, they had no intentions of keeping him alive, I can assure you that he was so badly beaten up. You were punching him in the vehicle. Badly, badly, badly. Do you know the guys with, there was two guys with him, they looked quite young. They didn't look old. You know, they looked young guys, but there was an older guy threatening him with a gun. They kept threatening him with a gun. He, he, there was an older guy that kept threatening him with a gun. He was, he had a, they had a, like a metal rod that was hitting him with as well. Not like on his back. He, he, he didn't have any knickers on. He didn't have any bottoms on. I don't know what you know. But I could see all the marks down here as well. So they stripped him? Down, well, I could see his bottom. Oh, right. And to be honest, he was quite a small guy. I don't know how he looks, but he, little white bottom, I can see. And I could see all these marks all over his back. They were beating him badly. The two young guys that seemed young, I could see him battering him with his metal. I don't know where they would get this from because like a... Like a not like one of these hooks where they, like they would do fencing with. Mm. Like, it's like a metal, it wasn't a wooden stick, it was metal. Rusty looking. So I'm some looking around to see if I can see one, I don't know why. So they would have been here somewhere. Up with a hook in it. Not like, um, anyway. See all this here. This wasn't here. What wasn't? This this gate and this fence thing. Right. That looked different there. Looked different there. Yeah. But what I'm looking at, what previously it was like.
I'm like seeing it. Pardon? They're like rods and they're offensive. I don't know what it is, but it was like the rod. But it's all I know as well. They, they tied him up at one point and then they, he wasn't tied up in, at the other point. So he was tied up one minute and he wasn't tied up the next minute. He actually died here. He actually died here, so I don't know who said what, but I see him dead here. And it's almost like I was expecting blood here, you know, but obviously not now. So you're 100% he died at this exact spot yeah. or in this vicinity? Him in this area. In this area, right, yeah. okay. He's bleeding from his ears, he's bleeding from his head. Yeah, they had to shoot him. They had to shoot him. What do you mean by they had to shoot him? They had to shoot him. They had to kill him. Right. That's... They had to kill him. There was no way that he was going to be left alive. They had to kill him. Have you any idea how many of them were that were here? like six and then there was another one that came oh. so there were seven one came yeah he came here yeah so he wasn't with them originally no, okay came. right all right because i keep seeing uh, vehicles pass there what's always baffled me is that house i'm just asking her mm. i just ask now who, who lives in this house and he's going though they weren't living there then so somebody said they've had that house It's like, why bring you here though? Nobody around, nobody around. And they wouldn't come out through fear. But it's weird because every time I'm looking at that house, I can see an old guy lived there. So somebody previously mm. was a part of it, strangely enough. He was a part of yeah. it? Yeah. There's it, a guy who lived there previously, was a part of it, that would have said nothing. So he was part of it. Like and he'd lived, he'd lived there. He lived there. He wasn't living there, but he had lived there. Whoever was living there at the time. Yeah. Previously, that's all I got, is an old guy. It's like he'd say nothing. And I could see he was quite old then. Yeah. So he'd say nothing. Pillars new, do you know? They are, yes. Because yeah. he said you could drive up there. Yeah. Yeah, this was a road at one time. Yeah. Mm. Now it makes sense because it's like, well, it's cut off. They had the right men behind bar, but they should have put the other two behind bars as well. So there's two that didn't go behind bars. So I don't know what you know. Yeah. But there was two that should have gone behind bars. Because mm. they did enough as well. Yeah. Okay, good talk. Good talk. It's funny because I keep saying to so my cousin Peter, can you help? No, I'll show you later, I will. So, obviously. Did they ban me or wrap me? He was definitely checked in the back of a vehicle again. He was put back in a vehicle. Alive or? And the words I've just been told, don't be so effing ridiculous. So don't be so effing ridiculous. So he was put back, but he felt he was dead. So they killed him here, basically. Basically, yeah. yeah. 
and there's been speculation and a lot of lies so the storyline as it goes can't hold it so it, it is in fact so I don't know how the storyline goes because I don't know the well there have been a lot of rumours surrounding oh, his death yeah, it's not fact. lots of different stories yeah. oh, right, okay. so yeah. it's not fact and he said I like facts well he questioned guys in his time too he got involved in questioning guys he definitely been involved with it he said we didn't do it that way oh they were brutal he said we 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 questioned guys but these guys are brutal brutal they should have put two bullets in his head but he only put one do you know that no <gasps> Never heard that. Why two? They said they should have put two in his head. They said they should have. So they should. Have, they were saying we should put two bullets in his head, but they put one. They say a bullet straight through his head, so he's definitely was killed straight through his head. Telling you what you want to hear, mate, but we know different. That's a lot with the IRA. They stick to each other, they stick together like glue, and they stick into that no matter what. And you couldn't sway them, to be honest. With you. Even if they're crying and questioning, they stick to the same story. That's what he's saying. Who's saying that? Robert. Robert. Very intelligent guy, very super intelligent. He was planning to write books, by the way. And he always put, he did put a lot of files together as well. He, to be honest with you, he'd stay up late doing all his work. He loved that side of things. And he could have done anything, but he loved that side of things. He planned to stick with it. Uh, at one point he was thinking of coming out, but he planned to stick with it. And he loved music, by the way. Do you know what? Even when he was in university, the IRA always fascinated him, all that kind of thing. When he came out, he was always fascinated by it all. Even the army life, he was planning to do that anyway. It's like you're always fascinated the forensics of things and getting caught in up in the spy inside of things. He sort of volunteered to do what he did. So he went to university. Yeah, and he was, a, he, was he actually volunteered to do this type like type of work because it was almost like it intrigued him and people. And he used to get drunk too. Is that a bit weird? He liked to drink, I'm going to be honest. He was completely uh, on the floor. Completely beaten up. And I mean, a kick in. One of them was dressed like a farmer, but he had steel toe caps on. They were kicking him. And I mean, badly kicking it. Cats in there, I keep seeing there's two cats there. Two cats there. But lower down on the drip cage. I'll tell you more when we go to the next place, I need to. You've got enough here? Yeah, a minute. It wasn't far in the field. Whatever they say in, or you know, it was just there. Just here? Yeah. This spot? Just in there. So that's, this spot is where they shot him? Yeah. Yeah.
and he spent his time mostly there. Here. This year, this sucks. He wasn't all there. He was all at the stones then. No stony. No, it wasn't like that either. Stones. They shot him head on. What do you mean? They shot him head on. With him looking at them? Yeah, head on. So he knew he, they yeah, didn't? he knew. He literally knew. There was one guy who had come to shoot him. He seemed a sterner guy, more. He didn't do all the beating the other guy when they shot him. Right. So the guy, they what? They, it was like they got someone here to shoot him, was it? No, he was here. He was here all along. Yeah. He, the guy that shot him was there all along, but he didn't do all the fist by uh, beating up. Right. The stick. It wasn't even a stick. It was metal. And I keep seeing this. Ooh. But when you said they brought someone here, you, that's, is that what you just said? They brought someone here. I can't remember what you said. You said they brought someone here. But the guy that shot him yeah. was the one that was pacing back and forth. Okay. That's what I can see. Right. Almost like he was seemed to be in charge. Okay. You know, um, a bit more authority about him. He wasn't doing all the beating up. Yeah. He shot him. Right. And it was almost like. Out of his misery, really, to be honest with you. But the state he was in, he had to shoot him. He had to shoot him. And the other guys actually were enjoying it. That's the worst side of it. But actually enjoying beating him up. You said earlier there was one guy uh, that almost didn't want to get involved. He was kind of yeah. walking away. Can you describe him? Uh, dark hair, going back. He could have been gingery when he was younger. Sounds crazy now, but it's what yeah, we find okay. out. Longish nose, crooked nose. Skinny guy, actually skinny, really skinny guy. And not a big set guy, quite small. I'd say greeny eyes, definitely went brown. Really blue eyes. And he's the one that shot him. He's the one that shot him? Yeah. Priest. Vicar. Priest. Um, you can pray as much as you like, you're not going to get out of your life. So, one would say, yeah, 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 you will, you know. And the other one, no, not like the bad guy and the good guy. Yeah. Playing that with him. Good cop, bad cop. What's the what role does the priest play? Is he a real priest or? No, he, was, he kept saying, "Get down on your knees, my son. Get down on your knees, my son." Yeah, we need to make now. Huh? Coming down. Just fucking pretending. Sorry. Just said he knew he was fucking pretending. Who said that, Robert? Robert, he knew he was fucking pretending. Who was pretending? The priest. Ah. Okay. That's interesting. It's the way he talked about things. He said, I knew, I knew, I fucking knew. They were playing games with his head anyway. You tell us this now and you can go back then. You tell us this now and you can go back then. You tell us this now and you can... They kept saying that over and over and over again. house there, the house over there. Yeah. There's somebody in that house that's connected to the IRA, you just said. That house there? Yeah. Be interesting. They always know more things than they let on. Now or then? Then. Then. 
Was the, it looks a fairly new house though, was it there then, was it? Looks like it might be extended. Part of it might be new, but the other part not. Okay. Just turned down and said Friday the 13th was never lucky for me. So I don't know what that's got to do with him. But he was never lucky. Right. And he said he wasn't ever superstitious either. And he did say his prayers all the time. He did think he was going to come out of that alive, but he didn't. He thought? He thought he was going to come out of that alive. Although he was badly beaten, he thought he was going to come out of it alive. Glad they shot him. He was glad that they shot him at that point. He's in a mess, I'm telling you. He's in a bad state. There would have been blood everywhere, yeah? I'm telling you. There would have been a lot of blood. He lost a lot of blood that night. And it went on till about like three in the morning. This didn't happen over an hour. This happened over hours of being badly beaten up. Definitely died here. He definitely died here. Definitely died here, definitely. So he was definitely dead before he was bundled back. He didn't go back in the car. He went back in like a van. Because when I see, there were three vehicles here, you know. He went back in a van. He went, he got rid of him in a van, definitely. I don't feel they moved him once. They buried him. I don't feel he was moved once, he's moved a few times. Really? Yeah. He keeps show, showing me three, three areas. Three? Three. Three areas. What do the areas look like? I'm going to have a look. So he keeps showing me them. Funny enough, I'm seeing this cow walking down here, and he's saying, there wasn't sheep around him, there was cows around him. Okay. There was goats there as well. Oh, there was goats. No goats here. There was goats. I'm thinking about the cow then, it's randomly walking off. I've got to laugh, excuse me, I'm laughing. The cow is just walking, ran, look at it, it's just walking off on its own. Mm. Unusual thing to see, isn't it? Mm. <sighs> oh, three times, I keep sitting in the cold thing. Three times what, Dan? Buried him. They buried him three, three times. Three times. I keep seeing. He was put in three different places. Three different places. Be interested to see what they look like, those places. So was the third his final resting place? Yeah. It's weird because I keep seeing that like a tractor. Like a, like a tractor, like a tractor, keeps seeing a tractor all the time. It wasn't 
buried anywhere near here. And he keeps saying he wasn't buried anywhere near here. Anywhere near here? He, he wasn't buried anywhere near here. Right. Nothing, he wasn't buried anywhere near here. Although he died, he wasn't buried here. This is a working farm, yeah? Yeah. He said, don't get confused with this. Don't get confused with this. So I mustn't get confused with this. Something's flying on me. <laughs> oh. oh. Mm. This song's gonna sound a bit strange, but mm. seeing him buried. And then I'm seeing him buried again. Yeah. And then I'm seeing buried again. Like in two, his, I don't feel his body was whole. I don't feel his, his body was whole. So. Right. Sounds weird. He was very badly decomposed when he was moved again. Put it that way. Very badly decomposed. I don't feel his body was whole at all. I really don't. I feel he was in different parts. It sounds awful and, and horrendous to see, but he's trying to show me different parts of his body, like the top half and then the bottom half. Something happened in a February month as well. Whether he was moved in the February month, it's a February month to do with the moving. Definitely a February month. Mm. So like one move was in the summer and the next move was in the February month. So he'd be moved, his body would be moved. So the first move was in the summer? Yeah. And then the next one was the following February? Yeah. Right. So that's two, isn't it? Yeah. So he put you in... I have to move him from that spot to another spot. How would his body come to the surface? Because he's showing me his body on the surface all the time. Very emotional over this. He's shattered by this. He's emotional by it. By what? This conversation, me communicating. Really? With him. Yeah. Can you see it? Clips, small clips. He literally always put his hands through his hair all the time. I just literally see him doing it. And he's a good looking, well, I've seen his photograph and he is a really good looking guy. He looks obviously better looking in the flesh. So I can see his, his thick, 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 dark eyelashes. <sighs> the guys that actually did it are all talking rubbish. Whatever they said to the media is absolute load of rubbish. You mean the story they put out yeah, about it? the storyline. Yeah. It's absolutely, keep saying it's rubbish, rubbish. As if it all, you know, big controversy going on. They still think they can be done for it, so they say nothing. They've got to pack together. So it's only with this little priest, isn't it? He keeps saying, the guy that was a priest looks like he's dead. So I don't know what he's talking about. Mm. Looks like death.
say he'll find himself. He's saying what, sorry? He'll find himself. Who's saying that? Robert. He'll, he'll find, find himself. himself. What do you think he means by that? Finding his body. What? But what does he mean by he'll find himself? So he's going to find his body. So let's see if he does. Who's going to find his body? Robert. He's going to help us find, find his, body. his body. Right. Do you want me to tell you what role the priest played? Yes, tell me all. OK, right. I'll, right. Uh, shall I tell you when we get in the car? Yes. Right, OK. So what were you saying, Diane? Everybody's thinking it's a different area. And he keeps going, no. Just keep walking. So I actually thought, do I walk? Go out to the car, walk left, or do I walk right? Well, start again. Everybody kept saying, it's in that area down the bottom. Not just you. I mean, a lot of people think that. But these guys, it was actually left to two of them. A third one should have come. But two guys were more or less the left to bury him. Was this the last occasion? Or the, because you said two, three times. Yeah. You said he was buried once, a second time, and then he was moved, and his body wasn't whole, you said, on the third yeah. time. And this is the third. This is the third time. This is the third. Yeah, yeah. And even, it was almost like, as I came out the car, do I take, as I come out, a left or a right? And it's almost like I could go past those people there and go right. But he said, no, keep going left. Right, OK. So you're, you've got a feeling this is, this is the direction. Yeah. And it's, quite, as you say, it is quite hilly and mountainous, isn't yeah. it? It was almost like before I even got you when I was standing by the bridge. It was almost like it is a little bit more mountainous as to where I was buried. It's not on the flat. People are thinking I'm on the flat. He's not. OK. Mm. See, they buried him. It's strange, because he's going, it wasn't really dark. They, they actually buried him when it was... Obviously late afternoon, but it wasn't dark, dark. They knew what exactly where they were going. And the guys that was left to bury him, I feel awful saying it, but I'm going to say, well, not awful, there's a pair of idiots. They were what? Idiots. Idiots. Idiots, he said, they're a pair of idiots. And they didn't think what they were doing at the time. They just needed to do it and do it quick. Right. Because I could see him. We moved to another part of a farm. Being dug up and buried somewhere else, just just off it. And then being told to come and collect him because he's got to go again. So I don't understand. So this is the third one. There's a third. The third. Yeah. Well, that's interesting because we've always been told two. Okay. But you, you're definitely adamant it's three. Yeah. Right, okay. Yeah. I've just literally asked them, am I drawn here? And he said, no, walk on. Okay. Definitely buried up here, I'm telling you. Really? This is what I keep being told. Okay. And it's like, I mean, finding it quite shocking myself, thinking how could somebody carry a body up here? It's 
weird though because of well, you said earlier that he was badly decomposed yes. so the weight isn't going to be big is it, uh, really? it, and it, it this had been eaten away he was like in two parts it wouldn't this this had gone okay Two guys that did it were the ones that were badly beating him up. Two of them. Yeah, the two main ones that badly beat them up. There was three, but there was two that was really angry and you know beating him up. Right. Um. But they were they were the burial party, were they? Yes. Okay. And they were, and they know exactly where he is, but as in area, but where they. It was. I know one of them's come back to the area. Right. One of them's definitely been back in the area. Why? Sounds crazy, this too. But to pray and say sorry. Oh. Honestly, that's what I hear. Similar age, actually. So he's an old man. This guy is. Yeah. Is he still Let's alive? Back here. He's an old man. Is he still alive? Yeah. And he looks like he's in his seventy-five. Seventy-five. That's what I'm seeing. Doesn't have a walking stick or anything, but about seventy-five. About seventy-five, right? Okay. Down now. I've got to walk down. Right. And I keep being told, I, I, I'm saying they wouldn't bury you in a place like this, surely. I'm telling you, they did. That's what he's saying to you. Yeah, I'm telling you, oh. he's dead. And nothing's really dug him up and he can't believe it himself. Down deeper, and I go when I can't. And you see, you've got to walk deeper down. Okay. Well, just watch yourself. Do you want me to go ahead of you, or? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Go you, you go. You go. You go ahead. Yeah. Just watch yourself. What is that there? Just you see this. What is that yeah. hole? That hole. What is it? What does it look like to you? Rock form. Are you sure it's not a hole? That's rock there. Is it? Is it a fox um, hole? Probably it a could fox be. Hole. I wouldn't dig that. No, no, no. But it's interesting. That I can't say why, but that's interesting. I don't know how this is going to be. saying wasn't there then right so I, I don't i don't understand what he's trying to say but not all this was here then okay or even though Thank you. 
You're in the area. Yeah. I am. How confident are you with that? Pardon? How confident are you? When you you got to understand. I can't believe this myself. I know. Yeah. But I really do believe I'm in the area. Yeah. Really? Really? Yeah. Yeah, they didn't bury him far up from the roads. Which makes sense. This wouldn't have been a good job, Diane, but this is the area. Is that what he said to you? Yeah. What's that? Strange, and a load of toys. Maybe a little dumping ground. This is the area. How big of an area? This is what I'm thinking. Yeah. This is it. This is the area. This is it. Right you say he says you're standing right over. Uh, yeah. Where you are there. There. I know I can't believe myself, but I'm standing right over. Him. And I feel he, he wasn't buried properly. He wasn't buried literally. They were breaking things down. It's. How deep did they bury him? Not deep at all. And you feel you're going to find bones and nothing more. What? You're going to find bones. Yeah. I don't feel he was buried properly. And I mean that. And you probably need to go deeper than you that. You need to dig. But I don't feel it was... I don't feel it... Should we go and get a shovel? I think <laughs> we should. should we get, well, we'll have to go and buy one. Yeah. Do you think we should get a shovel and come back here? Yeah. You do? So yeah. you feel we should get a shovel and come back I, here? I really generally feel... Well, I we've, can... marked, we've marked the place. place now. Yeah, we've marked the, the area. We'll walk back out that way, I think. Or, no, we'll go back the way we came. Yeah. Now, Diane, there's something interesting that I'm going to tell you now. Oh. That looks like a foxhole to me. Um, a, another medium, psychic, contacted Alistair Kerr. I said, Robert Nyrak is buried in a coppice. This is a coppice, yeah, near a fox, uh, a foxhole. And that, that's why I asked if that was a foxhole back there. Mm. And that looks like a foxhole. Yeah. And you, you think this is the area here? Yeah, I do. What, yeah. You, so you've got a really strong feeling? Yeah, and I literally am told, it sounds crazy, but in my head, it's like, yes. Have I got to keep walking? Thinking, I really do want to walk down here. Yes. It's like you're standing right on top of me. So I can't, I'd carry on walking if I felt I wanted to walk, but I couldn't. Well, I suppose when you think about it, put yourself in the mind of the people, a couple of idiots, and uh, these are idiots. violent idiots, obviously, they're not going to want to, they don't want to trek up and down. Uh, this road probably wasn't there then. That mm. looks like a new road to me. Yeah. Um, that's all new down there. That build that that building is new over there. But that would have probably been a, a gravel road or a dirt track. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And of course, why go too far in when you don't need mm -hmm. to? You know, they want to get it over and done with quickly. So let's go, we're now gonna go and buy ourselves a shovel. Just um given taking the guardie to the coordinates that you've identified. And um you said someone said something to you. Yeah, afterwards, as we were walking away, the guard was just behind me. In my head, I heard, your job is done. Right. Your job is done. And it kept being repeated to me over and over and over again. Right, okay. So, that's all they got to do is go up there, do a lot of digging, because I feel the body, obviously, is moved with the 
fact that the roots and the trees and everything is all sort of grown and it's been obviously 20 odd years, is it? No. 42 years. 42 years. Should we start again? No, no. I come four. across like an idiot. No, you don't. 42 years. No. 42 years but ago. Because you don't. The thing is, Diane, what people need to understand is you knew nothing about this until today. Yeah. You, I gave you no background information. Which I told you nothing, which is what you asked me. You said, the least I know, the better. Makes my life a lot easier. Yeah, and... Because you go into assuming, that kind of thing. Yeah. You go into thought. I couldn't afford to, for that to happen. Mm. I literally had to go where I normally go and listen to the voice in my head, and that's why we ended up up there. But I do feel where he was buried, there's been slight movement, and I feel he's deeper than what people are going to be expecting. But I certainly feel he's in that area where I was today. Mm, okay. And to hear that in my head, your job is done, means a lot to me. And what was it he said You said earlier, dig my lovelies or something, was it? You, yeah. You heard that as well? Yeah, dig yeah. my lovely. You're in yeah. the right spot, you're in the right place. And in my head I'm going, are you actually buried here? Yeah, you're in the right area, you're in the right area. That's what I kept being told. And when I've been in this situation many times before, I listened to my gut feeling. Um, such as when I was in Switzerland, you know, I'm saying, oh, he's in that river. And they go, but that river goes between there and Chamonix and um, G Geneva. I go, well, that's what I see. They're looking at me as if I'm an idiot. I actually feel a bit of an idiot as well, to be honest with you, at that time. And then it transpires within literally a month, actually two months, they turn around and say, oh my God, they found a thigh bone in that river. So I can only go on what I see at the time. And I give the information that I've seen. Right. And it was awful to see somebody being absolutely tortured in the way that he was tortured. Because mm. he was a young lad being completely tortured. But he told them nothing, did he? Oh, not a word. No, no. And it, they had him on his knees. And, well, I told you all the gruesome things yeah. that I've seen. Yeah, we've you got know? that. So and we'll... he was asking to be killed. Like, do it then, do it then. Brazen and, and very, very tough um, to be saying those words but mm. at that point he didn't care mm. no matter what you're going to do to him he's, he's not wasn't, wasn't going to say a thing mm. at all you know okay very That's brave man very nice brave man. thank you the trip's nearly coming to an end now i have every faith that diane lazarus has uh, done her job every faith so i'm actually putting this out now, in, I'm not going to make it public for the sake of uh, uh, a security leak or anything, but I truly do believe that Diane has found Robert. Um, I've left Diane now with her husband to go and do a bit of sightseeing around Dublin. Yesterday, um, I went to Trinity University to the Ordnance Survey Department there, and then I took a trip over to the Aerial Photography Department of uh, the Mapping Hill survey in Ireland and um, as I said the one photo I was looking for for Ravensdale Woods was missing now all of the mapping is held here at the uh, OSI Ordnance Survey Island that's where all the aerial photography dating back to 1936 is held here in Ireland I have come here and I've made a request for aerial photography of Ravensdale Woods, dating from 1977 to the early 1980s. The reason that I've done it up to the early 1980s is because obviously we know Robert was moved twice, but Diane is adamant that he was moved three times. When you approach it from a, 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 from a historical point of view, Maybe the third time was because they built the N1 motorway. And um, if that is the case, um, I want to see what that area looked like back then. Because he could have been moved many years after his murder. We don't know. What we do know is that he was murdered, obviously. But what we do know is that he was buried in Ravensdale Woods. Diane is adamant she's found the location. The commission for the disappeared who are ultimately responsible for finding Robert, are exceptionally sceptical about Diane's work. I don't agree with that, because her track record is second to none. Otherwise, I wouldn't have involved her. 
So what I want to do now is I want to look at the map. I'm going to do the job for the commission. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the maps, aerial photography of that forest and of that woodland dating back to the uh, 1970s and early 80s. And I want to see what that area looked like back then. There's young trees there, as I've already said. Those trees, um, they're no more than 40 years old, but there are other more mature trees in the area. So it makes sense to me that that area would have looked totally different back in the, in the 70s or 80s. And if that area looks like an area where you would have taken someone, because they're not gonna go deep into a forest, because obviously even digging the other day in that area with those trees, the rootage in the ground is, there's just roots everywhere. So it's very difficult to dig down. Robert, I'm, I'm positive is in that area. And I truly believe Robert is um, deeper down, as Diane said, because of the years, because of the rootage, because it's on a slope of the slippage, etc. We now have to put pressure on the commission to actually search for Robert. So tomorrow, I'm going to be sell, sent a screenshot of that area in 1977. And if that screenshot is what I'm looking for, they will then go into further images and imagery giving me a more close-up idea of the Ravensdale Woods area dating back to uh, the 1970s. This call sign is out. Oh 